I've been lobbying all morning to just allow me to pop out of the frunk, but nobody's letting me. They did let me ride shotgun, though. A lot of you have questions about these electric vehicles you've been seeing all morning, especially if you're looking to plop down a lot of money and buy a truck yourself. How do they feel? How do they feel to drive and ride in? Can you hear the engine at all? How much power do they have? Is it too much like being in a golf cart? No rideshare driver who I'll keep anonymous for her own safety. It's nothing like a golf cart and everything like the real deal F-150. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can see for yourself. When assistant plant manager Chris Skaggs wrapped up our tour of the electric vehicle center we're in right now, he offered me an opportunity I couldn't refuse, the chance to ride shotgun in the brand new Lightning. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for 45 years, and now it's going all electric. Let's fire this thing up. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, it was already on. Yeah, it's, already <laughs> it's so quiet. It's so quiet, you don't realize it at first. It's such a change, right? You're just okay. used to hearing an engine purr yeah. when you're sitting in a truck. But don't let that silence fool you. The standard Lightning packs more than 400 horsepower and 775 pounds of instant torque. That's more giddy up than most models of the gas-powered F-150. I'm going to show you what the instantaneous torque can do. I'm not going to go very fast, but... Holy moly. It's quite something. The thing it? bent. <laughs> that has got some get up and go. You guys like to go over the rough road track and show you what we look for and squeak and rattle? Of course. All right, so this is the rough road track. Every vehicle goes across this rough road track to check for any squeaks and rattles. Right. This feels like a Michigan Expressway. There's a frame twist coming up. And this is cobblestone right here. Oh. All right, and we'll go around this and we'll, we'll twist the frame a little bit. I didn't hear any squeaks or rattles. No, I didn't either, as expected. <laughs> To push the electric experience, Ford is offering state-of-the-art technology, 360-degree cameras, and a center console touchscreen to compete with Tesla. Talk about this screen. This is state-of-the-art stuff. This is, yeah. uh, we're living in the future now, my friend. Yeah, it's a very large screen. It's a 15-inch um, portrait screen. Um, it's the largest one that you can get in F-150. You can't even get this in the ICE or the HEV at this point. So it's, I think it's the same one that's in the Mach-E. So, yeah, it's, it's really great. You can show a lot of different things, the climate control, the navigation, phone, all at the same time. And what's this right here? Yeah, this is a camera that looks at your eyes to make sure you're paying attention to the road so you can do hands-free blue cruise driving. Wait, what? It's always watching you? Yeah, it's watching. Even if you're wearing sunglasses, it can tell if you're paying attention to the road so that you can do hands-free driving. You get a little sense of pride, like a proud father taking one of these off the lot? I think everybody does. Uh, I think everybody feels very proud that they had a part in making mm -hmm. this um, happen. All right, so we're going to take this one back in, put it back in line. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. The unnamed Uber driver I referenced a minute ago was really excited about that distracted driving cam, especially once you drop your phone into the abyss. We've all been there before. And I was warned about that instant torque, but I was still pretty impressed at just how much you felt the G-forces. I will say the best way to get a tour of this 900-acre site is right there in the passenger seat of the F-150. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.